Imagine a world where the individual rights are supreme, where freedom isn't just a lofty ideal, but the foundation of society. A world where the only limitation on your actions is the boundary of another's rights. Sounds utopian, right? This world is the dream of libertarianism, a political philosophy that has stirred many a heated debate over the centuries. It is the belief that individual rights, property rights, and the non-aggression principle are the cornerstones of a free society. The roots of libertarianism are deeply entangled with those of classical liberalism, a political ideology born from the Enlightenment era, a period that saw a surge in humanistic thinking. Key figures like John Locke and Adam Smith laid the groundwork with their philosophies of individual freedom and economic liberty. They championed the idea of a society based on private property rights and minimal state intervention. Fast forward to the post-World War II era, when the term libertarian began to take on its modern connotation. During this time, liberals resisting increased state involvement in the economy, giving birth to the libertarian political philosophy we know today. Throughout the years, libertarianism has been shaped and refined by a host of influential figures. Friedrich Hayek, for instance, emphasized the importance of personal liberty and property rights, while Murray Rothbard advocated for a society completely free of state intervention. Ayn Rand, a novelist and philosopher, made her mark with the concept of objectivism, which champions the absolute rights of the individual. Milton Friedman, on the other hand, was a staunch advocate for free market economics and minimal government. In more recent years, figures like Ron Paul, Hans Hermann Hoppe, Walter Williams, Dave Smith, and Tom Woods have continued to champion the cause of libertarianism, each contri contributing their unique perspectives to the ongoing conversation. Now, within this broad umbrella of libertarianism, there are several strands, each with their own nuanced views on key issues. Two such strands are anarcho-capitalism and minarchism. While both advocate for minimal state intervention, anarcho-capitalism pushes for the complete abolition of the state, believing that all services, including law and order, can be better provided by the free market. Minarchism, in contrast, sees a minimal state as necessary for protecting individual rights and maintaining order. Similarly, there are differences even in the economic theories that libertarians subscribe to. The Chicago School, which Milton Friedman was a part of, and the Austrian School, associated with Ludwig von Mises, both agree on free market economics, but differ in their methodologies and views on certain issues, such as monetary policy and business cycles. And libertarianism isn't just a theory. It has found practical application in places like Argentina, where economist and president Javier Millet has been instrumental in promoting libertarian policies, proving that this philosophy isn't just confined to the realm of academic discourse. So what have we learned? Libertarianism rooted in classical liberalism and shaped by a host of influential figures champions individual freedom, private property rights, and minimal state intervention. It's a diverse philosophy with different strands like anarcho-capitalism and minarchism and subscribes to economic theories like the Chicago and Austrian schools. It's a philosophy that has made its mark on the world from the works of Ludwig von Mises, Milton Friedman, Murray Rothbard, Hans Hermann Hoppe, and Ayn Rand to the policies of Javier Millet in Argentina. It's a philosophy that raises fundamental questions about the role of the state, the rights of the individual, economic prosperity, and the meaning of freedom.